Hello everyone, this is Rochelle, and today I wanted to speak a little bit about self-esteem. Um, one of my subscribers asked me to do a video um, about this. I think she's mentoring some high school kids, high school young girls, and a um, um, couple, you know, I get some, you know, people will say, you know, that my esteem seems so high, and wish you had the confidence I had, and all that kind of stuff, and what do I do, and, and, um, yeah. Okay. Let's let's um let's get into it. Um, this may help women my age, women older than me, women old, you know, younger. It may help. You know, it's definitely going to help. I think the um you know middle school, high school crowd, maybe even a little um little kiddies in, in elementary school, maybe so. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about self esteem. Um, why it's important. Um, I don't know, and how I get back. Okay. Have I ever had low self esteem? Of course I have. Absolutely. Um, who hasn't? You lying. Everyone has had doubts about something, okay? Everyone has. Um, the question is, and still have, okay? The question is, how far are you going to take it? How bad you going to let it mess with you? Is it really that serious? Is it really that serious? And to that, it's, it's, the answer is here, okay? If you don't like something about you, fix it. Fix it. If it cannot be fixed. And this is something that you don't like about you, not other people, but something you don't like about you. Fix it. If it can be fixed, fix it. You don't like your hair? Well, fix your hair the way you want to do it. You know, you don't like your size? Well, eat better. Do a little bit of exercise. Join some activities. You know, um, you don't like your skin? Well, sometimes, y'all, I'm sorry, babies. Um, you know, you're going through it. There's really not much you can do. But, you know, there are options. Try proactive. Try that other new one that's come out. You know, Murad, Skin ID, all those other ones. Try some stuff. Ask your mama, you know, put up some money for that. Help. Try stuff. Um, but don't beat yourself up over it, okay? That's just what you can't do. I mean, the, the other side to that coin is if you can't fix it, get over it. And I, and I don't want to say it like that. I don't want to say it like that. But if you can't fix it, move on and don't let it bother you as much because it doesn't make sense why are you letting it bother you only let things i mean you only let things bother you for me if people are asking what do i do if i can't fix it there's nothing i can do i move on to the next thing it's you know i can't fix some stuff i can fix a lot of stuff but some things is just unfixable what can you do get over it and move on go on to the next thing live with it learn to love it you know, something about it that's positive, I'm certain. I'm certain it could always be worse. Consider those options, okay? So, I hope that helps as far as, you know, things that, you know, you might not like about yourself, blah, 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 blah. Now, other people, blah, 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 bring you down, stuff like that. Okay, this is what I have to say about that. There are always going to be people that are going to bring you down. I don't know why. I have no idea why the world is created this way. The only thing I can think of, I, I don't know. I, I really have not been able to answer that. Um... I don't know why that's people's, most people's first reaction when they meet another person is to try to break them down real quick. I don't know if it's women or, you know, not break them down, but just establish some type of hierarchy. You know, people don't just talk. I don't know. Does it mean that people see you and think you weak? No, that's not what it is. Does it mean, um, you know, people are just targeting you all the time? No, that's not what it is. People are kind of just like that. I, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Don't let it bother you. You know, some people choose to turn it back on on them, you know. Yeah, and such and such, you know, oh, okay. I don't, I just laugh. I just, <laughs> you know, you meet somebody and they, you know, just trying to establish themselves and stuff in front of you. Talking about stuff that just won't on topic at all. You just know what it is, recognize it, and know that those ain't the people you need to be dealing with. Next. All right, okay, yeah, all right, talk to you later. And next, you treat those people as associates, you know what they're about. You know, it, it may change. Maybe they'll warm up to you one day, start opening up. And not to say that you meet somebody you want to just open up. But first time you meet somebody, you don't want to just start crapping on them either. You know what I mean? And I don't know, those type of people who choose to react that way when they meet people, like that first impression, you know, for me, it's, it says a lot. It says a lot. That's... <laughs> That's something I choose not to be around. Might be why I run solo a lot. I all the time. 
always solo i just like i said i watch the show i watch the show not saying everybody else got friends you know is putting on entertainment for me i'm just saying as far as me and my personality goes i know the people i'm gonna get along with i know what i ain't gonna get along with i'm definitely not gonna be changing nothing about me to get along with nobody else um yeah, so if you're facing that problem where, you know, you want to be in with this group, but, you know, you just don't have A, B, C, or D, or they like this, and you don't like that, and you like this, please don't change that to um, be like them. Don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, you know, they can be cool with you, but maybe not as cool. Okay, fine, but I'm, I guarantee you, you're going to meet some people who like the things you like, and you ain't going to have to change a thing. You ain't going to have to change a thing. Okay? Don't change yourself to try to be like anybody else. Never, never, never do that. Trust me. Only time you ever want to change something, like I said, if it bothers you, you know, about you personally, okay, like I said, go ahead and change that. Um, or, you know, if you're finding, um, you know, sometimes you do have to do a little self-check. You know, you find it, you know, you, you may have some areas where you could improve on. Um, that's something else. Um, and that, you know, being like you may be hurting somebody in the way that you speak or, you know, certain you know, things you say, like, you know, be put putting people off a little bit. You know, if you continue to get that kind of feedback, okay, sometimes you might want to just, you know, take some inventory and um, look at that and see, you know, those kind of things is different. Okay, yeah, check into that. See what's going on there. But typically, you know, be who you are. Don't be afraid to be who you are at any point, at any time. Um, for instance, there are people who, okay, when everybody's talking in a group, right? Everybody's talking like, yeah, girl, I did this and I like this. Me too, me too. And you don't like that. Something in you was saying, say, me too, too. Just, and they don't even like it for real. Say you don't like it. It's okay. It's okay. Because you're going to say that I bet somebody else will say, yeah, yeah, me either. I mean, well, you right about that or whatever. Or you may enlighten them on something or you just being who you are. You don't have to, you know what I mean? You don't have to try to fit in nowhere. Like, oh, okay, yeah, that's cool, but I like this one. Be who you are, okay? You'll get nowhere trying to be like somebody else. They're not going to know you. The thing about it, too, you guys, is the people that you're around, and it's like for kitties and everything, they don't know who the hell they are. I'm sorry to mean to cuss. I'm trying to cuss. I'm doing better. But they don't know who they are, and you're trying to change yourself to be like them. They don't know. They're probably copying somebody else. They're probably copying someone off TV. Um, well, all you can do is be yourself, um, listen to your mom and your dad, um, find yourself a role model. If it's somebody you want to be like, um, that's different. That's different from trying to be like somebody to fit in. Uh, if you have a role model, someone that you look up to, then you need to buddy up with them. You know, and I'm saying, you know, change to be like them. I mean, but you are, okay, you know what I'm saying. Stick with them, talk to them, call them, see what they're doing. Uh, watch them see how they handle themselves in certain situations and okay and you know that's something you may want to you know model yourself after you know not girls in the click I'm gonna tell you something about girls in the click this is for my young girls okay and don't get upset with me if you in the click just just you know you know who you are okay you know who you are and it's okay you're young you're gonna grow it's all right but for the girls that may feel isolated like I won't have part of no click you know I don't want to be in the click Never wanted to be in the clique. And I'm not saying because I couldn't get in a clique. I could get I was welcomed a couple times. I don't want to. Mm -mm, no, thank you. Hell no. Those mean girl cliques. They around. They probably. And this is not just for the girls. Boys, I'm sure you have the same kind of thing. I don't know what y'all call it. But, you know, the mean girl cliques and all of that. I'm 35. I say this all the time. I know y'all probably sick of me saying my age. I'm 35, and um, I'm going to make this long video. 10 minutes, okay. And I can't find one successful girl out of that mean girl clique. Not one. Not one. Um, not saying you won't be successful, blah, 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 blah. But I'm saying, I don't know, some kind of way. Maybe it's the way that they all click up. Maybe it's the way that they make the choices. Maybe it's the way they don't have a mind they own. I don't know. Maybe it's the way that they treat or treated people when they were growing up because you know what goes around comes around I don't know but those women I see now are not doing as well as average women okay and I mean mentally I mean financially I mean the whole socially 
Well, no, I ain't gonna say that. Some of them still have a little click, but they, you know, kind of on the bottom too. Not saying you can't rise to the top if you're on the bottom, but I'm just saying, I'm saying that this is high school. Because I'm talking about that. This is high school. This is a part of your life. It's a pretty major part. It is. Um, but it's a very short period of your life. Okay, so if you have, you know, things are bothering you, whatever, in high school, it just seem like his ankle getting no better, blah, blah, blah. I listen to me, and it could be girls, it could be family, it could be, you know, your boyfriend, the teacher, blah, blah, blah. Listen to me, okay, it will get better. It will get better. I'll tell you something, something else I find, you know, this is my experience in my life. I find that people who go through things like that, people who have things that, you know, are, um, I, don't know, I mean, I'm really painful. People who go through um, trials and tribulations, okay, younger, typically have A, more character, um, B, more um, empathy toward people. Um, more understanding people, more well-rounded people, work harder, and become the role models. Those people that go through some, yeah, sometimes you gotta go through some to understand what it's like not to be going through some and appreciate it. And, you know, it's kind of like that, I mean, that flip-flop thing. I mean, there's going to be some good and some bad. And then sometimes people that just get everything handed to them, blah, 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 blah. They don't have to work for nothing. They get all the nice cars and all that. When they get to be an adult, they don't know what to do. They've never gone through adversity. They've never had any issues. They've never had to work. So, I mean, you know, consider all of this, you guys, um, when you are walking through, you know, the hallway. Consider all of this. Just watch. Just take a look back. And just watch the show. And you will see all the stuff that I'm talking about. It's right there. It's right there. Um, again, not saying everybody is, you know, else has got issues. I'm just saying just be aware. Stop trying to change yourself. Don't ever change yourself to be like someone else. You have to take pride in the things that you do and things that you like. You have to find some things that you do like. You have to find some people that like the things that you like. Okay? It's, kind of, it's important. It's important to say you don't want diversity. But it's important. Um... Sometimes you're going to be in a position, and this could be going on now, where you feel like, you know, an alien. I was that child. I was like, what kind of, what is going on right now? You feel like an alien. You don't feel like you have that, I'm not going to say that support system, but well, whatever it may be for you, that support system, you don't have people to understand you. You don't, you, you're going to go through that. And that, again, does not mean to switch your stuff, switch who you are to try to be like the other people. That's just not who you are. That's okay. That's, this is a period in time. A period in time. Next month, you can meet a whole group of people. Next year, you can meet a whole group of people. You go off to college, voila, the gates might open up. It probably will. It will. And you will see your click. Okay? It just won't hear. It just wasn't at this school. It wasn't at this grade. Do you know what I mean? So just stay true to who you are. Um, believe in yourself. I know it sounds like some Mickey Mouse stuff, but I'm saying believe in yourself. I'm going to give you something else. Um, you know, when you walk, you know, and it, you know, when you walk, there's a few tips. When you walk, walk tall. Look up. Walk tall. You don't have to, you know, do all of that. But I'm just saying, walk with your head up all the time. When somebody's talking to you, whether you feel this small, look them right there in their eye. Dry eye. Look them right there. Mm -hmm. I don't, don't stare them down. Damn Care Bear stare. I'm sorry. I didn't mean cuss again. But you know what I mean. You know, don't be looking at them. But, you know, look at them. You are as good as the next person, okay? No one is above you, okay? Just because they have certain things on what, in whose scale? You know, who says that? Because they have these sneakers or whatever, and they, they got you. Okay, what the, the bottom line is, is about who you are on the inside. All the extra stuff don't mean nothing. You can snazz up. You've seen me do it. You've seen me do it. You can snazz up the Goodwill clothes if that's what you got. Um, you know, it's not always about the name brand. Sure, that'll get you in the door. But at the end of the day, you know, you want to be who you are. You want to be true to who you are. You want to be liked and known for who you are as a person. And you got to love that person. You know, you do. Um, you know, you can't depend on everybody else to, to you know, make you feel good. You got to feel good. You got to be able to walk alone sometimes. Sometimes just do it. Feel good. Feel good with you. Um, like I say, it can always be worse. Um, 
Everybody's got something beautiful to share and contribute to this world. Everybody, in my opinion, and my belief, everybody's here for something. You, you, no one's worthless. No one has just, you just here, blah, 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 mom got knocked up, whatever the situation was. No, no, no. Um, everything happens for a reason. So, you know, walk with your head up. Here's a model. Here's something I walk with. Here's something I, I go through um, my deal. Oh, 15 minutes. How do we do that that fast? Something I um, use, um, a daily affirmation, okay? I can't remember who this is from. I'll annotate it if I can remember. It is, I'm going to say it right, probably mess it all up. It is walk, walk as if it's impossible to fail. I believe that's what it is. Walk as if it is impossible to fail or go through life as if it is impossible to fail. I mean, if you have to say that every morning to yourself, go ahead. Don't say I'm being cocky and crap on people. I'm not saying that. But see it. You know, see the positive things. Um, don't let people break you down. Know what you're about. Keep your head up. Keep your spirits up. Surround yourself with people who love you and who are concerned genuinely about you. Um, don't fall into the cliques. Um, you know, one or two friends is cool. I mean, I'm not around having a big group of friends if they all genuine. You know, good, good people. Or at least be able to recognize that, okay? Because everybody not good, okay? Everybody not good. Um, don't let people break you down. Hold your head up. Um, you gotta love yourself. You gotta love your flaws. You gotta, you know, appreciate why you are the way you are. Like I said, if it's something you don't like about yourself, change it. If not, get over it and keep it moving and stay focused on the things that are important to you, things that make you happy. That's it. That's why, that's how I, you know, get by. I'm not the prettiest girl in the world. It's not about that. It's never about that. Um, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of pretty girls around. You know, it's a lot of pretty girls around. Um, next, what is, what is pretty? Pretty face. Are you smart? Clever? Intelligent? Talented? You got something else? Those are things that are pretty weighty. You know, the pretty might get you in the door. But after that, I mean, it can fade. You can be the dumb pretty. I mean, you know what I mean? You can be the obnoxious pretty. You can be the stuck up pretty. It's not all about the pretty. So all makeup and everything's good. Okay, yeah, but make you feel good. But it's not. that's not what it's about. Just be happy with yourself. Um, and that's it. Everybody don't like the stuff I do. Everybody don't like how I dress. Um, some people don't even like my personality. <laughs> I know. I couldn't believe it either. But yeah, you know, what can you do? Okay, what you gonna change? Who you are? No, you can't handle it. It's okay. Go on and do your thing. You know what I'm saying? So just, um, I hope this was helpful. I don't know. I'm not the guy. Express myself um, in the manner that I wanted to today, but I just wanted to quickly put this out. If you want more in-depth um, detail on how to do some of this stuff, let me know. Maybe that'll be better for me instead of just trying to holistically explain how to, you know, go through your life or you know, school, or whatever, with um, better self-esteem. But um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you've learned something. Hopefully this helped. If not, I'm sorry. I'll try again if you want me to. Um, but yeah, you gotta love yourself. Um, you can't be worried about the crazy stuff. Get the clicks. Um, be who you are. It's okay to be alone sometimes. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, sometimes you be in certain situations where you just can't do no better. All right, wait. It'll get better. It will get better. I guarantee it. High school, middle school, it's a period in your life. Whatever you do, mistakes you've made, whatever it doesn't define you, things will change. You will change. You will evolve. You will be better. Trust me. Just try. I know you don't know, I know you don't know me. Just trust me, okay? All right, so that's it for the video. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Email me. You know, I'll chit chat with you. Let me know. Um, I'm here to help. And um, y'all have a great day. And um, be blessed, okay? Bye.